Hello guys, welcome back to Stoneblock here with your favorite super turtle. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're all doing fantastic. If you're new with us today, please make sure to go check out the Discord link to join our awesome Discord server. I'm sure the mods would love to have you there. And guys, we're going to get right into it today. So we're actually going to need to make up a few blocks of Invar. So our system that we made last episode is still over here running. I even put some more uh, iron. Actually, it got a lot out. Yeah. Um, we need to go ahead and throw some nickel in there, and this is going to mix with the iron and create some invar. All right, so we've got our invar made up, so let's go ahead and bring it to the bottom. Click it over, and we need to make these hardened fluid ducts, which is the goal. Okay, that one's good. We just need two, right? Yeah, okay. So now we'll automate some obsidian because our we want to go to the nether for our awesome tools. All right, perfect. I believe it was just, oops, hold up, yep, there we go, hardened fluid duct, and now lava should be able to flow in. Will it flow in? Oh, not like that, nope, 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 give it back. Give it back! I need it. What? Ow. They, like, wanted to change. Hmm, okay, so it looks like lava has to go in first. I'm not sure how to do that, but I don't think we're gonna be able to automate it all that much, unfortunately. So we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way and I'll just make it with uh like just clicking it and then we'll put a we'll put a uh portal somewhere. Do you ever just wake up some mornings and just wanna punch yourself in the face because you feel like you're an idiot and you should be punched in the face because yeah. But uh maybe hold up, I don't know if that's actually gonna work. But we have figured out the issue with the uh, lava, it seems. So water has to go in first, is that right? I am so confused on why this thing is acting so strange. So water goes in, set this up. Nope, oh, nothing, okay. So then like this. Nope. Okay, so you stop it. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we just empty you into here. <sighs> oh my gosh, I just remembered. <laughs> it's gotta be here. Okay, I'll... Hold up, that actually worked. I'm surprised. So there were several issues with this whole thing. And four of them were me, being an idiot. So hardened fluid ducts. Okay, so there's that. That goes off here and makes obsidian. Ah, uh, man, I... It's been this easy the whole time. I made it so more difficult than it needed to be. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. I wonder why I got 20. It's because maybe I don't want to make the average portal. Um... So the wall, let's see, so one, two, three here, one, two, three here, one, two, three, four. Oops. Okay, so this is where the wall is going to be. That feels so much smaller. Um, so let's see here. So this should be the halfway point. Okay, so the wall's gonna go here, so we'll put the portal uh, yo, 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 here. Okay, and let's go ahead and clear out some of the space. Actually, no, I want to punch it in one more. 
we want depth. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, call that good. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's grab some flint. And let's grab some of you. I don't know what the mining level is of this guy. Of these tools, so we'll have to figure that out. Oh, I, I just walked into it with out oh, lighting it. Is there no nether? Um, oh, wait, hold up. Um, Nope, that didn't work. Okay. I set it to Tikra false because that room would catch on fire if I didn't do it. But I don't think we can go to the nether. Hmm. Yep, I think the nether has been disabled, which is fun. We can make nether rack if we want. What are you used for? Man, there's so many, like, I'm just so mad. So, crushed, what are you, Civ? Okay, so this is how we're going to get the two things. Can we break you? <clears throat> Let's see if we get it back. Because this will say it's a diamond level. Yeah, it's a diamond level. Okay. So, we're actually going to make some tools with this stuff. That'll be fun. Let's go here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Invar is in there. Uh, one block and one ingot. Good to go. That stuff will be out of there in a second. I need to just let this run. Actually, what I need to do is I need to put all of that stuff in here. Like automate, put a hopper into that thing with a chest. And just let this system run. Because I think that'll be great. We'll come back and have all of the resources. So that's hardening. Perfect. Let's go ahead throw some obsidian in. Because the nether isn't going to work out for us, like I thought. Which is quite unfortunate, if you ask me. I, I really do like the nether. Ain't going to lie. The nether is my homie. Plus, now getting gas tears is going to be difficult. I actually don't know what we're going to do for gas tears. So, um, yeah, we'll put a whole bunch of processing stuff back here. And I think that'll be great for what we're doing. And I, I really do like this setup, this whole different rooms thing. Like, this is probably my favorite, like, way I've built ever in Minecraft. Or any modded, anyway. So, anyways, I'm going to let these things smelt up, and then we'll we'll get into making the, the right, uh, casts. That's what they're called. Yeah. All right, so Tinker's Construct. We're going to go ahead and get started with this. I did bring over some more patterns. So, I don't... Here's the pattern chest. Okay, so we have the everything to make the pickaxe. So let's go ahead and make everything we can. We're gonna be making some patterns, some casts. Sorry, that's the right word. Okay, now these three are made up, and our casts will be stored over here, which is why that chest is there. Let's go ahead and make a pickaxe head, and we'll move the gold to the bottom. We'll make up a cast. Okay, we'll make this one now. Okay, and then a two round. All right, so how much gold do we have left? Ooh, we actually got quite a bit. So perfect. So these are all of our casts. So we need to make a few more. So we're probably going to want a hammer. We're gonna want these creeper faces. All right, we're gonna want this uh, tough binding pattern, and da, 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 probably a sharpening kit. That'll be a good one, as well as because we're gonna need a better sword. 
but I don't think we can make that. Okay, we'll make a pretty good bow later on. We'll also make a hatchet handle. And do, do, come back. This will take up eight. I'll take up eight. Then I took up two. I'll take up a few. Okay. Whoa, whoa, we're looking around. So let's go ahead, we'll make this guy. Alright, he's almost done, he's done. Make up this guy. Alright, that one's done. Make this guy. Alright, it's all done, and we'll make the sharpening kit. And then the stone axe head, or the axe head one. So this one is about to be done, perfect, and this is the last one. Okay, so what we'll put in here is all of our casts, and then over here will be all of our extra parts. Perfect. So let's go ahead, we're going to grab... Oh, we need a tough tool rod as well, I forgot. That is a necessity for making the better tools. It's like the second tier tools, like the pickaxe and all that, it's like first tier. Because if we look here, we have a lot more. So, oh wow, a laser gun? <laughs> Didn't know you can make laser guns. This is what we're making. Um, and then we also need that binding thing for our excavator, which is good. And then, oh, I forgot about our lumber axe. We need to make one of these as well. Sorry, there's a, there's a heck ton of stuff to make. Okay. So, made the tough tool rods. We'll need you. We'll need you. And actually, no, we're going to make a pickaxe first. So pickaxe head, we'll make this out of obsidian. Okay. And have we got sugar cane going yet? I don't think we have. So sugar cane seeds, perfect. Got sugar cane. That's this paper. I think you can maybe. No more sugar cane seeds. Oh well. Oh whale. All right, so that should have finished. Yep, we have an obsidian head. Perfect. And the two. Oh, I need that back. Sorry. Make that out of obsidian too. And heck, we'll make the binding out of obsidian as well. And thank you very much. Oh my gosh, that scared me for a second. Everything disappeared. I was like, oh, there go all of that. All right, so we'll switch back to iron and switch that on. Okay, so now we have this stuff. This stuff, stuff, stuff. There it is. And binding, bam. So we can mine cobalt with this, but we only have 106 durability. So this is cool. Uh, obviously, this has much more durability than that we'll have for now, but eventually this pickaxe will be unbreakable and extremely fast. So we're going to go ahead and grab a diamond here. And this will add 500 durability to the pickaxe. As you can see, now we're at 606. We have two modifiers left. So now, I believe, how much XP do you need? Only 500. Okay, that, that makes it pretty simple. <clears throat> we're going to grab all the redstone we got. Oh, there's some more redstone in here. Bam. So this is a lot of our redstone. <laughs> and we're going to put it on our pickaxe. So now it mines. <clears throat> so the mining speed is 7.57 now. If we put this on, now it's 13.83. Pretty cool. And then we have, finally have a use for all of our lapis. So let's go ahead and we'll grab some of the lapis from in here. Put this in. Bam, fortune one, fortune two, and fortune three. Pretty cool. Now we have fortune on our pickaxe. I don't know 100% if we actually needed fortune on our pickaxe. Oh, when we go to the mining dimension, it'll be it'll be great, which is a quest that we need to think about doing. So now we have our first real Tinker's Construct pick, so we're going to go ahead and set it up over there. Pretty cool, isn't it?
And so I am going to make quite a few of those, actually. Um, like a hammer, all the stuff. I'm looking for our other pickaxe that we made earlier. There it is. Because the tool rack here, I want to have all of our Tinker's tools on it. So if we ever need them, we just come over here and grab them. So boom, look at that. Two pickaxes right there. Oh, we need those apples back. Stop, please. <laughs> Okay, so now let's look into the mining dimension. We got, obviously we have this still rolling, but we're gonna look into it. Because that's when we'll really start to uh, get resources, okay. So, where's our quest book? There it is, perfect, okay. Let's see here, mining dimension. So, if I want to dig away to the, up to the top of the old world and be teleported to the mining dimension of this world, or see. Dig your way up to the top of the overworld. Uh, okay. <clears throat> let's let's uh, dig our way up. I'll be back when I'm getting close. Ooh, hear that? There is rain. We're getting close. I would say we're probably a few blocks away from the top. Oh! <laughs> okay. So, uh, how do you get back? That's what I'm a little worried about. I knew something like that would probably happen. So what, you probably come back down? Oh, yep, okay, so you go down, come back up. Okay, that makes sense. Probably would have been easier. Hold up, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Need to bring some dang ladders. All right, so what is it in here that we need? Oh, we did it. Four upgrades, cool. Visit the end. Okay, so we've done everything we wanted to in here. Let's head on back. Head on back to the underground. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back down and be right back. All right, so we're finally back down from our adventure, and this is how much cobblestone I had to go through to get up there. It is, uh, it's quite a bit, it's quite a bit up there, if I do say so myself. Let's have a look here. Yeah, we're getting lots and lots of iron. That is perfect. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a bit of AFKing here. I'm going to set up a system 
so that this can be automatic. Let's see. Let's put those, all that stuff in there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to need two chests. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Okay, boom, we got four. That's okay. That one here. Boom, and then like this. Perfect. And let's see, does this feed in? Okay, so we're getting plenty of stuff. Let's get a bunch of iron, some copper, some tin. Uh, I don't think osmium goes in there very well, but we'll still put it in. Actually, let's see if we can test it. Osmium work? Osmium does work. Perfect. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and throw all of these in, except the chests, because that'll clog it. Okay. Yep, I'll throw all those in. I'm going to go AFK here, let this thing do its magic, and uh, we'll be back after I'm, I'm done AFK. All right, we are back after the long AFK session. As you can see, I've already got more stuff smelting up in here. Oops, but we have a heck ton of materials now. We have a lot more bronze than I was hoping for. Um, no, we don't. Oh, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> that got me worried for a second. We got a bunch of lead, a bunch of iron, which is what I'm excited for. We even got some electrum, a little bit of invar. Uh, we even have a lumite, but uh, it's not really good for anything. But I guess it's, I mean, it requires t supremium essence and a tier 4 crafting seed, but it's not used for anything, which I'm kind of confused about, um, which is interesting. And we have a bunch of diamonds. Ooh, look at that. We got a lot. And a bunch of emeralds as well. And let's see how much, oh yeah, oh yeah, look at all of that dark oak wood, oh yes, look at all of that acacia wood. Ooh, you know what we should do with this? Okay, I still have yet to see the poll results, because those, I, think, I believe, come out tomorrow for me. Um, we should think about, like, dark oak will be this level, and then the low level, if we do a level below us, this should be the acacia wood, but we should pair it up with a different block. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Look at all that food. We'll never be hungry again. Except we're always hungry. We're always hungry because we are the super turtle. Check it out. Another end of pearl. I do have one somewhere else already. Yeah, so we got a total of two now. Let's go ahead and add these diamonds and em emeralds up to our total and look at that. Three full stacks of diamonds, guys. We are, we are living like Larry. We got some of the sugar cane already grown up too. Hey, I'm missing one. That's what I thought. So yeah, but anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today. Uh, this is the final day of the pre-recording. I will go ahead and record the video next video after this one's already out. But this this video here won't be out for me for like I think four. But actually, it'll be a week. So I'm recording about a week in advance. So. Uh, next week, I'm going to, or this week is the end of AGDQ for you guys, but for me, I have yet to see it. So I'm super excited. Hopefully, we'll raise a lot of money. Uh, and if you've never seen AGDQ, which is a charity live stream for, I believe it's the Prevent Cancer Foundation, uh, it's a bunch of speedrunners getting together and uh, doing a charity event. So I uh, hope you guys check it out. If not, uh, it's good watching on YouTube because they have a bunch of old clips of like speedrunning old Metroid games, Super Mario games, almost any game you can think of, including Hitman, which is pretty cool. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the episode. Take care. You guys all have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Peace out. Bye-bye.